Welcome to Loksatta Yashashri Bhava. In the last session, we have studied about reproduction, the various reproductive organs in males and females. The ability to produce young ones of its own kind is called as reproduction. We have also studied about the modes of reproduction, sexual and asexual. In case of sexual reproduction, as there is involvement of two gametes, that is male and female, the chances of variation is more. Whereas, in case of asexual reproduction, since there is involvement of only one gamete, the chances of variation is very less. Students remember, this shows that in case of asexual reproduction, there is more or less no variation. In this chapter, that is mapping of genes, we are going to study about how variation gets formed and how it gets transmitted from one generation to the other. This is called as inheritance. Heredity. Students, all of you would have noticed that most of us resemble like our parents in our physical or mental characteristics. That is, we also say that he looks like his father or she is tall like her mother, she is fair like her sister. So these are nothing but characteristics that get transmitted from parents to offsprings. Heredity is the transmission of physical or mental traits or characteristics from parents to offsprings. Gregor Mendel was a scientist who performed a lot of experiments with specimen and formulated laws to study heredity. These laws were then later named after him as Mendelism. Gregor Mendel is called as father of genetics. Mendel's experiments were based on plants like garden peas. He selected garden peas that is Pisum sativum and performed a lot of experiments. We shall now study the monohybrid cross ratio that was performed with the help of garden peas. In this case, since the name monohybrid indicates that he crossed only one pair of characters. He selected the red and the white flowers of the pea plants. Let us try to understand the terms that are involved in this crossing. Genes are the hereditary characters that get transmitted from the parents to the offsprings. There are two types of genes, dominant and recessive. The dominant genes are the ones which mask the recessive ones, whereas the recessive ones are the genes that are hidden or which are not or which do not appear. In this case, when the red flowers and the white flowers were crossed, this is the P1 generation which is called as the parent generation. After crossing, it was observed that F1 that is the progeny that is the gametes that were formed. Here in this case, students you can see the crossing that is that it gives rise to R, capital R and small r. We shall understand the terms P1 and F1 generation. P1 is the parent generation. He crossed the white and red flowers. You can see the crossing indicated by capital R, capital R multiplied by small r and small r. Here capital R stands for red flowers which are dominant or which have dominant genes whereas small r represents white flowers which have the recessive characters. After crossing, we get the first generation which is called as the F1 or the filial generation. In this, we can see the crossing that is capital R, small r, capital R, small r and that is there are four gametes which are formed. F2 that is the second filial generation. We have crossing which is shown over here multiplied. When the gametes get multiplied, we have over here the capital R, capital R. This capital R gets multiplied by this small r, we get capital R, small r. When the next 
small r gets multiplied over here again we have capital r small r and the last multiplication which shows small r and small r students remember you just have to cross multiply the characters and also remember another thing that you have to begin with the dominant character that is with the capital letter only now in this case when you observe all of us have studied that capital r represents red flowers whereas small r represents white flowers so now let us count the number of red flowers and the number of white flowers that are formed in the first box you can see two capital r's which means that there is a formation of a red flower in the second box you can see one capital r and the second letter that is represented by small r as capital r is the dominant character this is also a red flower the third box you can see another capital r with a small r as the capital r is a dominant character it forms a red flower and in the last box you will see two small r's that means there are there is a formation of white flower so we represent this or we can count this by saying that there are three red flowers and one white flower so this monohybrid ratio gives us the formation of three red flowers and one white flower thus the phenotypic ratio is three red is to one white genotypic ratio tells us the genetic constitution of the plant so here in this case we will actually count the capital r's and the small r's here in these four boxes you will observe that there is only one part which shows two capital r's there are two parts which show a capital r and a small r and there is only one block which shows two small r's so here the ratio is 1 capital r capital r is to 2 capital r small r is to 1 small r small r this is the monohybrid ratio which was shown by gregor mendel to explain the crossing of only one pair of characteristic students we have studied about the monohybrid ratio which shows the crossing of only one character now In the next session we shall study about the dihybrid ratio which shows the crossing of two pairs of characters